And I guess we're doing a part two of this video, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happened. But I have noticed... I just got interrupted there. Someone just, like, turned up and then left. I don't know who the hell that was. Um, yeah, I've noticed my window has reset on this game. So the image is slightly off. I'll try and fix that, but... Construction complete. I don't know why it's doing that. Every time I reset it... Building. It, um... Sets itself back up, so not really sure what's going on with that. It keeps going off center. We've got a human. A human? We have a um, civilian here. Civilians are kind of useless. And we are literally destroying our own base as well. I think that's the thing with not artillery. It's really inaccurate. What's through here, anyway? That's oh, a village. Okay. Is there a bag of money around here? I wonder. Ooh. Ooh. I say. Well, that's interesting. Burn that. Let's get rid of that. Definitely don't want them having more power. Alright, let's get these guys down here. Now, to capture that or not to capture that? I guess we could capture that because if nothing else... If nothing else, we can use it to make money. Really? You're sending two flame guys? You know what? We'll just destroy it. Fuck it. Can't be arsed. Actually... Nah. We will capture that. But they are just going to keep chucking men at us over here, so get rid of it. We'll keep that alive, though. Because that is going to drain their power. Push these guys down. Roll forwards, men. Take the map one inch at a time. Our base is under attack. It is. Oh, can you stop attacking that? Idiots. Yeah, they can reach that. Nice. Nice. That is really nice. We can get power plants here too. <clears throat> Although they are low power. Unit lost. This could be a little bit awkward. Okay, hopefully. Okay, that's fine. Alright, that didn't quite go as well as planned. You know, we've got a lot of money. I'm thinking, guys. We might as well just rush. Rush to mammoths. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to rush the mammoths down there. Unit reporting. Permanent. Unit lost. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Let's get you out of here. Let's destroy these. I mean, we could capture them for a little bit of money, but it doesn't really matter too much. Construction complete. And we should pretty much have this under control. Yeah, we're good. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Let's roll these guys forward. They look like they're under financial pressure like us now. Yep. We got this. We got this. 
cool. Get rid of that. They never did build that back. That civilian's just literally sitting there. Um, go burn it. Nice. They're literally sandwiched in. It's like building a sandbag wall. But instead of sandbag wall, we have a wall of mammoths. I know what I prefer. Building. Yeah, these really aren't as good as the GDI ones. I think they do more damage, but they're so inaccurate. And they definitely have low power. What I would like, though, is to take that out. It's a shame, really. Let's get some more of them. Construction complete. Let's get a couple more. Because we want to make sure that they are low power. Like, proper low power before we go in. Reinforcements have arrived. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Acknowledge. Yes, sir. Moving out. Yes, sir. Because they've Perfect. probably got iron yes, um, out. Yes, obelisks out the ass up there. Which is obviously an issue for us. Yes, sir. Moving out. Moving out. Yeah, the idea that these guys... I don't know why I sent you there. The idea that these guys... Um, are not building this stuff back is a very good indicator that they are out of money. And the fact that these regen their armor is ridiculously powerful. Let the flame tank do that. All the time they're rebuilding that, they are burning money. They're not burning a lot of money, but they're burning money. This is why GDI has overwhelming armor superiority. These things are monstrous. Yep, nice. I actually hit the hand and nod here. Which would be quite nice. Alright, let's get ready to charge. Let's go see if we can finish them. Fuck me, we've got a lot of mammoths. Building. A couple more should do it. And they're fixed on the artillery as well, which is great. Right, they've lost pretty much all ability to fight back here. Let's press. Hey, boys! GDI is here, motherfucker! To Valhalla, man! No, get rid of that. Yes, just gonna roll these guys over now. Get rid of that. We don't want that coming back online. Destroy all of their power. Not having. Deny them that load. Job done. That's a fucking wrap. They might have another base in that corner, though. Deny them their vehicles. Yeah, mammoth tanks. Once you got mammoth tanks in decent like quantities, it's over. It's over for you guys. All right, we've got airstrikes now as well. Sick. Now, there is a secret ending to this game. Like, if you destroy the Nod Temple with an iron cannon, you get the true ending. So, it'd be rude not to. Let's see what they've got over here. Might have another base. Kind of doubt it, but you never know. Oh, hello, they've got turrets. Fuck you, turret. 
I've got mobile turrets. Acknowledged. Got more tip down here. Oh, more turrets. I guess there's no base or anything here then. It's just like another way in. Which we may have been able to exploit, I guess, but we didn't need to in the end. We actually done that really well, to be honest. Go destroy that. Wow. Flame tanks really don't do a lot against um, Sands, which when you think about it, you would have thought they would. Obviously melting down that steel and whatnot. Right. Let's go knock on Kane's door. Alright, fella. How's it going? You're about to have a bad day, my friend. A very bad day. That's interesting. Still got SAM sites, even though we now have airstrikes. Okay. We've got their own personal tip field here. Destroy the power plants first. Without power, they cannot use their obelisks. And they've got that as well. And an obelisk behind it. Interesting. Right now, an iron cannon won't. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's fine. It is. Yeah, we need the iron cannon to finish this off. The iron cannon won't destroy it in one shot, I don't think. <clears throat> Ready and waiting. Affirmative. The iron cannon should destroy that though. Select target. Ion yes. Target. Good night, Kane. Walk into the light, my brother. Lovely. Uh, now we did have an airstrike, didn't we? Yeah. Select target. Get him out of there! Don't know if the airstrike's going to. Yep, I guess it does. Woohoo! And that, my friends, is a wrap. Wait a minute! Why didn't we get the? Why didn't we get the true ending? Unless, I'll have a look at that in a minute. See if I can get the true ending. I, we've taken serious. The temple's been blown all to hell. We need to get out of here before. Sir, topside has suffered significant damage. Structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate. I recognize that actor. Have access to this command center in approximately twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. <laughs> okay. I love that. So deliciously cheesy. I don't know where the video is off center. Yeah, that wasn't the actual true secret ending. And I don't know why. Have another look at that. Wow. Look at that KD. Not bad though. Okay, I've not heard this uh, version of the ending before. Every the ending theme. That much more difficult. Hmm. Happy with that though, guys. That was massively easy. United Nations officials have confirmed that Global Defense Initiative assault troops successfully attacked and destroyed the alleged Sarajevo headquarters of the Brotherhood of Nod. This ends a three-day siege, which saw GDI and Nod forces engaged no, in mortal combat. Mortal Eyewitnesses combat. Eyewitnesses and survivors report that, although evenly matched, 
the GDI forces employed superior tactics and strategy. Unfair um, tactics. Nod in what was termed an epic battle. Quoting from a written statement issued earlier today, UN Secretary of Defense, Dr. Charles Olivetti, praised the men and women of the UN-funded GDI, calling them, quote, tireless defenders of freedom and heroes to history. Unquote. Well, you know. Although refusing to disclose specific totals, Dr. Olivetti confirmed reports that heavy casualties were sustained by both sides. Kane, hmm. the single-named charismatic Nod leader and self-proclaimed prophet, is among those missing and assumed dead. Discovery and destruction of the Nod Command Center ends more than three years of continued escalating violence, sparked by that organization's international terrorist activities. World reaction has been mixed. And there we go, guys. This ending theme is amazing. And look at the tablet they actually removed from um, Nod's temple there, along the wreckage. I think that's Cain killing Abel from the Bible. I think. But yeah, there we go. But of course, that is only one half of this game finished. We have to do the Nod campaign next, which... Oh, this, this end theme is amazing. It's so good. Hey. Why are they showing in an extremely advanced nod base there? That's from Tiberian Dawn. Um, Tiberian... What was, the next, what was the second game called? Tiberian Dawn. I can't remember what the second game's called now. I can't believe that. But yeah, that's from CNC2. Hmm. Interesting. So yeah, we've got Nod to do. I'm not as familiar with Nod campaign because I didn't really play it like... Well, I did. I played it a lot. But I didn't play it as much as GDI. Because I always preferred GDI. I'm going to try and get the alternate ending. I don't know why it didn't trigger. Um, if not, I will find it somewhere and put it in on the end. Because the actual proper ending for the campaign is the Temple of Nod gets destroyed by GDI's Iron Cannon. Um, but yeah, mm, I don't know why that didn't happen. Coming attraction. Oh shit! Red Alert, guys. I was never as into Red Alert as the Tiberium Saga. But I did like Red Alert. Just not as much, and I don't know why, to be honest. I think it's because it's more cheesy, more slapstick, which a lot of people prefer, and that's fine. You know, we don't all have to like the same things, yo. Um, we'll get to Red Alert, though, at some point. It's interesting to see how far these games were in development, though. If you think about it. Because we've had shots from um, Tiberian... Tiberian Sun! There we go. Tiberian Sun. We've had shots from Red Alert. All at the end of this one, which is interesting. I think it's all the time um, travel and stuff like that in, in Red Alert 1 that I was never a fan of. Now here's the thing with Red Alert. Red Alert was supposed to be a canon um, to the Tiberian Dawn Saga, saga in the beginning. Um, because at the end, spoiler, I know it's a 20 year old game but whatever. In the end of uh, Red Alert 1 on the Soviet campaign, you actually see Kane um, doing some dirty stuff. Now, as the Red Alert series went on, they kind of distanced themselves from the two franchises, which... And, obviously, uh, Red Alert started to go way more batshit crazy. It was like the light-hearted, cheesier side of the Command & Conquer story. And then you had Command and Conquer Generals as well, which was a, its own thing entirely, totally separate. Um, which 
when it was first announced, I really didn't wasn't interested in it at all. But I did actually play it in the collection years, years later, when it was already like a dirt cheap budget game, and I fucking loved it. Generals was awesome, but I have never managed to get it to work on a modern system. But yeah, CNC Generals was really, really good. And the two, uh, there's three factions in it that were wildly different. And here we go. Possibly. Oh, I don't know. I keep saying that this one's my favourite, but I don't know. Siberian Sun is so good. It's so, so good. And uh, uh, here's like a precursor to the Wolverine, I guess. Prototype. Um, yeah. And I love this music as well. Wow, 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 wow. Yep, very early prototype of the Wolverine, that. Wolverines! This thing looks demonic. Systems operational. Kind of reminds me of Mech Warrior 2 in a way. Or Mech Warrior. Great games. Boom, baby. Tiberium Sun. The hype behind Tiberium Sun when it came out was insane. I remember it was like the talk for years and years and years. Now this is the game that got me into PC gaming basically back in the day. And Tiberian Sun, when that dropped man, and that did not disappoint. One of those rare cases of a sequel, we don't really get that these days, like a sequel coming out and it being really epic and amazing. I mean it, ha it has happened, but it's very rare. But when CNC Sun dropped, it blew my mind. I remember I actually sold my original PlayStation 1 and like, because I was a kid, man. Uh, I sold my PS1 and a few of my games to actually get it on the PC. My PC actually kind of ran it okay, but it kind of pushed its limit. So very much going, uh, looking forward to Tiberian Sun. Now the thing was Sun as well. Like, Sun was a really apocalyptic, dark game. Like, I mean, it was the end times. You know, mankind and humanity was fucked. There was mutants everywhere. The planet was damaged beyond repair from Tiberium. And it was such an apocalyptic theme. It, was all, it felt very Mad Max in a lot of ways, which was cool, really interesting. And the maps were amazing as well. Now, in Tiberium Wars, they kind of doled back on that a little bit and the planet wasn't quite as fucked and humanity was still alive and well, blah 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 blah. Um, and then of course in Tiberium Wars they added another faction which when I first read about I was like, I don't know, I don't think I like this, but it worked really well. Um, I really like the third faction. Um, so yeah, I, I actually really like Tiberium Wars. I thought it was a fantastic game. So that's going to be fun to replay. And then we had Command and Conquer 4. <laughs> and that was proper EA'd. And it was not Command and Conquer. In fact, I played, I brought Command and Conquer 4 about a couple of years after it came out after hearing how bad it was and I thought I'll give it a go see what I think of the game I played the first two missions thought it was shit uninstalled it and never went back but considering we're gonna go through all the CNC's we will we will have a look at it um, it's not command and conquer though it really isn't it's an embarrassment to the franchise 
So, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I am going to try and get the end, the proper ending. I don't know why it didn't work. I have no idea. But, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. I have. As always, till next time. I, uh, we've taken serious, the temple's been blown all to hell, we need to get out of here before- Sir, topside has suffered significant damage, structural integrity has been compromised. I estimate GDI will have access to this command center in approximately 20 minutes.